What's up guys? So long story short, um, just 10, 11 hours ago, uh, it was announced that Warren Buffett is giving out $1 billion and no, that's not, that's, that's the actual amount. I'm not stuttering here. That's not a joke. $1 billion um, for a perfect March Madness bracket. Uh, for the North American NBA uh, basketball thing. I don't even know. I don't really watch basketball. Uh, it's either, I think March Madness is, it's either NBA or college basketball. I think it's college basketball. Um, and so the, the deal is if you can uh, s create the perfect bracket um, that's and predict what's actually going to happen, for the 2014 March Madness um, sort of tournament, then he'll give you $1 billion. Uh, the problem with that is that uh, the chances of getting that perfect bracket, if taken objectively, is like something like one in four trillion or something like that. Why? Because um, there's over 60 teams apparently, and yeah, that's two to like the sixtieth power to get ev to get every single possibility in the bracket, um, and that's objectively. Now, the the thing here is that you can definitely shave off a lot of this by knowing your basketball knowledge. Obviously, I don't have that knowledge, so my chances would be one in sixty-two trillion if I tried. However, um, if someone or who knew a lot about basketball, um, and there's a lot of people who do, uh, then they could shave off those odds tremendously because um, they know what sort of teams will probably advance. They know which teams suck. They know which teams are good. Um, and that can shave off a lot, but that's still not going to shave off a tremendous amount. Um, now, here's the thing. Here's where the discussion gets really good. Um, Warren is someone who is quite the role model. And I'm going to tell you a lot of stuff that most people don't know about him. Um, and that's why he is one of my role models. And one of those things is he never makes risky bets um, in his investments. And in a lot of the things he's done to get rich... Uh, he is not in any way a risky better. Uh, currently, he is number four on the richest people on the Forbes list. Um, so uh, that either means he's the richest in the uh, North American scene or the fourth richest in the entire world. And for the last 30, 40, maybe 20, 30 years, he's been bobbing around first and second place for uh, richest person in the world, give or take. Um, and so another thing is that he, he, here's, here's something crazy that you might not know about him. He is ridiculously involved in philanthropy. He's pledging away 99% of his wealth to, uh, charitable organizations. And he's actually made, um, a requirement that most of it, uh, be actively employed in the next 10 years, um, because he wants to see that money put to use before he, he dies and not uh, sort of traded away through corrupt organizations. Um, so he's, he's an outstanding guy and um, it's quite crazy that he's doing this um, and everyone, I mean, I'm sure it's going to get some buzz. Um, that's one of the things about Warren though. Uh, for whatever reason, he just avoids any buzz. Uh, Breaking Bad is actually one of like the most popular series of our recent generation in terms of TV series and here's the thing this is like the one of the richest guys in the world he tweets out an image of him in a Breaking Bad costume out of the blue and it didn't get that much attention so this guy uh, in a lot of our instances uh, he it just like the the press just it just bounces off him like uh, he doesn't get that much attention and I, I think that's a good thing because he he never strives for attention um, 
unless it's for philanthropical causes um, but this one apparently is not basically uh, what has happened here is from what I've been told he's teamed up with um, an organization uh, called something like quick loans or something like that and basically he's teamed up with this organization to throw out, throw out this bet of uh, one billion dollars for the perfect March Madness bracket and uh, to sign up I think you have to sign up with information and um, through that they can sort of advertise uh, about their loans and so forth so it's quite disturbing that he's doing this um, I am quite honestly not sure why he would do this I I think it, it would have been much better if he didn't team up with this organization and he just did it however it does make it a lot more reputable since he did the problem though is that I mean it's it's just not the best brand or organization to do this behind because um, uh, the organization is called Quicken Loans and it seems like a horribly, horribly, like, horrible marketing ploy for um, just a quick way to gather a lot of emails from people so they can spam you for free. Um, and from what I've been told, you can actually uh, make a lot of money by selling um like tens of thousands of emails to people that's what people actually do they farm emails and then they sell the list to advertisers for money so um, I'm gonna read this this article this news was just released a couple hours ago basically it's Quicken Loans and they've they've pledged through Warren Buffett that the grand prize winner will receive 40 annual installments of 25 million dollars um, or could opt for a lump sum of 500 million. There is also 2 million at stake for creators of less than perfect brackets. 21st prize winners with the closest brackets will receive 100,000 each to use toward buying, refinancing, and remodeling a home. So all of it is sort of funneled back into this sort of uh, home modeling system. It's kind of like a gift card. You can only use it for this and they've made it very you know fancy and nice but i'm fairly certain that zero people are going to get that uh that grand prize and zero people are going to get um the uh two million dollar uh installment for less than perfect bracket brackets i mean maybe they will um it says here that a hundred thousand will go to the first prize winners with the closest brackets um, but what's the difference between that and the two million for the less than perfect brackets I don't think any of that will go to any of it so long story short it's like a huge ploy um, for pretty much the hundred thousand each gift, certi gift certificates for the 20 winners uh, with the closest brackets uh, towards refinancing your home and so forth um, and uh, from what I've read up on Warren, um, I've read up quite a lot. Uh, in a lot of ways, he is still my role model, despite this sort of confusing thing he's doing with this campaign. Um, I've actually read um, one or two books on him already and listened to a couple audio books about him and read quite a lot of uh, articles online about him and watched a lot of videos about him. Why? Because he teaches quite a lot of good life lessons and a lot about business and finance as well. Um, but one thing I've learned is that um, he is like the most humble guy ever. Um, he has like 50 billion net worth, right? 50 billion that can buy like thousands of Maseratis, right? Guess what? He's lived in the same rundown house. It's not rundown, rundown, but it's 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 really cheap. And he's driven the same cheap car for the last thirty years. He lives such a minimalistic life because he uh, he says that like this is the life he enjoys. 
and um, he's he does everything he can, um, but it isn't much because he thinks that's enough for him. So he he has no he never has a need to buy a, a bigger house or bigger car, despite him being able to afford like ten thousand Maseratis and fifty mansions, and all of it's just funneled back into charity. And it's it's crazy because this guy is ridiculous. Um, he's he's awesome. Uh, his, his only big personal uh, purchase was a private jet because he sort of needed one, and it was sort of comfy. But other than that, he's pretty much said like how uh, he knows all these friends who um, have possessions that are ten times or a hundred times. Uh, the value of his house or his car and he says uh, he really felt that the possessions owned them rather than the other way around and he he's stated multiple times how um, uh, he's gotten everything else he, everything he's needed in life and I, I'm really amazed about that um, and I mean that is one of the things that a lot of people just screw up on and I, for one, am probably, you know, one of those people at times. Sometimes you sort of just fall into this rat race and forget the fact that happiness can be attained without all this frivolous stuff. Um, and so another thing I know for sure about Warren is he doesn't take risks like that. Uh, I know for sure that if he's doing this sort of thing, he is almost a hundred percent certain that he no one will ever hit that one billion dollars um why because um i know how he works in business sorry guys the camera died but long story short um there's a good article on this on the uh subreddit for investing and it talks about the reasons why uh warren uh is doing this and on top of that um I found a video which was just released in the last few hours um, where Warren uh, talks briefly about this uh, the sort of thing he's doing with uh, Quicken Loans and that will be uh, posted in this description if you guys are interested um, but long story short yeah I think he's he knows what he's doing and I highly doubt he'll get anything bad out of it because that's just the kind of guy Warren is. Um, I'm more concerned as to why exactly he's doing this. Because I feel like, is he still looking to make a profit at his age? Or is there something more to it? I have yet to watch the sort of phone interview he does. Um, so I'll be watching what's linked in the description soon after this video. I briefly watched it and it seems like... For the most part, he seems to be doing something for a good cause. Um, and apparently he is actually uh, more into sports uh, than I th thought. Like, he's actually fairly into sports. So it's not just something, you know, off the wall here or just to make a profit. Like, Warren is not that sort of guy. And that's really the only big concern for me because uh, knowing what he is, uh, just from what I've read, it's, it's kind of strange to see him up and do all this so I, I think it makes more sense now um, that he's doing this more so um, because it's it's fun to him and he likes sports and uh, it's going to benefit his company Berkshire Berkshire and apparently based on this subreddit post I'm reading um, he actually has a lot of companies that he holds through Berkshire Hathaway um, that will benefit from this endeavor um, apparently Geico and a lot of other insurance companies um, they all advertise through March Madness and other things uh, as, uh, including sporting equipment and stuff like that so uh, we'll see what happens and um, I don't think it's that big a deal um, and I think the biggest thing is the number on it the 1 billion thing um, quite honestly that's it's more like saying hey, I'm going to flash you a big number, but I'm never really going to pay that number. Uh, more more likely, I'm going to pay a few prizes of $100,000. And 
we'll call it a day. Um, so no big problems with it for me personally. The only real thing would just be as to like, is this really worth it, Warren, just to make a quick buck? Or is there some bigger cause to it? Um, so I'm going to eventually check out the the video I'm, I posted in the description below on the topic, which covers pretty much why exactly he's doing this apparently. Uh, based off a phone interview he did a few hours ago um, and in that interview uh, it was this was brought up and he briefly discusses this um, apparently uh, I briefly skimmed over it in the small time I had and it has something to do with like one of his good friends uh, from Quicken Loans which uh, he decided to do this bet with and apparently it's been going on for a while so we'll see what happens and as always like favorite comment and subscribe for more